here is the next question a plane wave front of wavelength 6 into 10 power minus 7 meter falls on a slit 0 0.4 millimeter wide a convex lens of focal length 0 0.8 meter placed behind the slit focuses the light on a screen what is the linear diameter of first minimum and second minimum let's write down the data as given the wavelength of the incident light is 6000 angstrom or 6 into 10 power minus 7 meter the slit width is 0 0.4 millimeter 0 0.4 millimeter and here is a convex lens students should understand the function of a convex lens in Fraunhofer diffraction experiment it is placed very close to the slit when parallel beam is incident on the slit the convex lens focuses the beam on the screen but the screen should be placed at the focal plane of the convex lens the focal length of the lens is given to be 0 0.8 meter remember dear students this focal length is nothing but the distance of the screen from the slit so you can always take this focal length as the distance of the screen from the slit now we are supposed to find out the linear diameter let's understand what is that linear diameter now if this is the screen if this is the center of the screen I'll call it as O if this is the position of the first minimum you can write the distance of the first minimum from the center of the screen as x1 and you know that the first minimum also lies on the other side of the screen so this is the first minimum behind or below the screen this is x1 again now you can always mention or define what is called as the diameter of the first minimum so the whole distance from one edge of the first minimum to the other edge can be defined as the linear diameter this is nothing but 2x1 similarly if you want to talk about the maximum you measure the distance of a particular maximum from the screen on either sides of the center so that gives you the diameter of that particular maximum now let's take up the minimum case first so the first case it is first minimum so to find out the diameter of the first minimum you will have to calculate the distance of the first minimum from the center and multiply it by 2 so for first minimum n is equal to 1 okay. you know the distance of first minimum the distance of nth minimum is given by xn is equal to n lambda d divided by d for first minimum n is 1 therefore x1 is equal to lambda d divided by d and you are supposed to find out the diameter therefore you have to multiply x1 by 2 this is also the width of the central maximum so width of central maximum that is the linear diameter of the first minimum or the linear diameter of the central maximum is given by 2x1 is equal to 2 lambda d divided by d now let's substitute the respective values the width of the central maximum is given by 2 into wavelength of the incident light is 6 into 10 power minus 7 into d is 0 0.8 divided by the slit width is 0 0.4 millimeter 10 power minus 3 you can cancel this 0 0.4 with this 0 0.8 two times and I have uh, 24 in numerator along with the 10 power minus 4 24 into 10 power minus 4 otherwise you can write it as 2.4 millimeter is the distance of the the linear width of central maximum otherwise that is the linear diameter of first minimum now after this we will go to the second part the second question is regarding second maximum for maximum we will write the distance formula first for maximum it is x2 is equal to 2n plus 1 lambda d by 
2d is the distance formula and if you want the diameter again you will have to multiply it by 2 as explained earlier but before doing so let's uh, substitute the value for n for second maximum n is equal to 2 so we are left with 5 lambda d divided by 2d so x2 is equal to 5 lambda d divided by 2d and I want twice this distance for diameter take okay. substituting the values in the expression of x2 we'll get 5 into wavelength is 6 into 10 power minus 7 into capital D is 0 0.8 divided by 2 into the slit width is 0 0.4 millimeter so you can cancel this 0 0.8 with this 0 0.8 in denominator so we are left with the 30 into 10 power minus 4 meter or in other words it is 3 millimeter 3 millimeter is the distance of second maximum from the center but we are supposed to find out the linear diameter for which you have to multiply the distance by 2 so that is the diameter so it has to be 2 into 3 that is 6 millimeter so 6 millimeter is the linear diameter of second maximum in the diffraction pattern Now let's take another question on angular width of central maximum. The angular width of central maximum in a Fraunhofer diffraction pattern of a slit is measured. The slit is illuminated by a light of wavelength 6000 angstrom. When the slit is illuminated by a light of another wavelength, the angular width decreases by 30%. Calculate the wavelength of this light. The same decrease in angular width of central maximum is obtained when the apparatus is immersed in a liquid. Find the refractive index of the liquid. Now in the first part of this problem, there are two different wavelengths used. The first wavelength is 6000 angstrom and for the second wavelength, which is unknown, the angular width of the central maximum decreases and it decreases by 30% or in other words, the new angular width is just the 70% of the original value. Now let's write down the data as given. If the first wavelength is lambda 1, which is 6000 angstrom, the angular width is theta 1. Let me write it as simply theta. Now when the wavelength is changed to lambda 2, lambda 2, which is unknown, then the slit then the angular width is theta 2 is since it has reduced by 30 percent the new width is 70 percent of theta 1 70 percent of theta 1 is nothing but 0 0.7 theta 1 or it is simply 0 0.7 theta is the new width of the central maximum now using this data Let's calculate what is that unknown wavelength. We'll have to make use of the expression for the width of central maximum, that is the angular width of central maximum. Angular width of central maximum is theta is equal to 2 lambda divided by d. So here small d, it remains same for both the cases therefore theta is directly proportional to the incident wavelength you can always write theta 1 by theta 2 is equal to lambda 1 by lambda 2 otherwise theta 2 by theta 1 is equal to lambda 2 by lambda 1 now therefore let me write it as lambda 2 by lambda 1 is equal to what is theta 2 which is 70% of theta 1 that is 0 0.7 times theta divided by original width is simply theta. So theta gets cancelled. You can find the value of lambda 2 using the expression lambda 2 is equal to 0 0.7 times lambda 1 which is 6000 angstrom. So lambda 2 is equal to 4200 angstrom. So this is the unknown wavelength which is required, we obtained it. This is the first part of the problem. Now in the second part, when the entire apparatus is immersed in a liquid whose refractive index is unknown, 
again the change in the width is same that is the width of the central maximum reduces by 30 percent now we are supposed to find out the refractive index see when the entire apparatus is immersed in a liquid what changes in the entire experimental apparatus is only the wavelength so we have an expression for the refractive index of a medium which is given by the ratio of the wavelengths of light wave in those two media so refractive index of the liquid is equal to wavelength of the light in air wavelength of light in air lambda a divided by wavelength of the light in the second medium that is in the liquid medium see lambda in air is already taken as lambda 1 and lambda in liquid is my lambda 2 right so refractive index of that liquid is simply the ratio of lambda 1 to lambda 2 we know the values of both lambda 1 and lambda 2 let's substitute it is simply 6000 angstrom divided by 4200 angstrom units so this gets cancelled this is just the this is just 60 divided by 42 or in other words this is 10 divided by 7 on simplification the refractive index turns out to be 1.43 for the given liquid now let's work out a question on the resolving power of a telescope calculate the resolving power of a telescope when light of wavelength 540 nanometer is used the diameter of objective is 6 centimeter now the incident wavelength is given the diameter of the objective is given let's write down them the incident wavelength and the diameter of the objective it is given by d is 6 centimeter 6 into 10 power minus 2 meter and we are supposed to find out the resolving power of the telescope and resolving power of a telescope is given by the formula we'll write it as resolving power rp is given by the formula d divided by 1.22 lambda for a telescope here diameter is 6 into 10 power minus 2 divided by 1.22 into wavelength is i think you can write it as 54 into 10 power minus 8 since it is easier for the simplification you can cancel this 6 uh, with this 54 9 times and in denominator i have 9 into 1.22 which is very close to some 11 so in the numerator i can write 10 power 6 so this is 10 power 6 divided by 11 approximately so this turns out to be after simplification nearly 9 into 10 power plus 4 and resolving power doesn't carry any unit have a look at the next question assuming the average diameter of pupil of human eye to be 2 millimeter number one find the angular limit of resolution of human eye for a wavelength of 550 nanometer and number two find the maximum distance at which i will be able to resolve the two headlights of an approaching car which are 1.1 meter apart dear students this is a problem on human eye and you should know that human eye is very similar to the telescope so the resolving power and limit of resolution of human eye are same as that for a telescope now what are the data given the diameter of the pupil let me take it as d is given to be 2 millimeter and the wavelength of uh, incident light has to be considered to be 550 nanometer otherwise i'll write it as 5.5 into 10 power minus 7 meter and we are supposed to find out the angular limit of resolution or simply the limit of resolution in terms of angle which is given by the symbol d theta so let's directly go to the angular limit of resolution it is
is given by d theta is equal to 1.22 lambda divided by d where small d indicates the diameter of the objective here in this case objective is the pupil so the values are like this 1.22 into wavelength is 5.5 into 10 power minus 7 divided by the diameter of the objective is 2 millimeter 2 into 10 power minus 3 which comes out to be around 6.6 approximately equal to 6.6 .6 divided by 2 and it is 10 power minus 7 divided by 10 power minus 3 is 10 power minus 4 so d theta finally comes out to be 3.3 .3 into 10 power minus 4 since it is d theta angle it has to be expressed in radian so this is the limit of resolution or in other words angular limit of resolution of human eye now we are supposed to go to the second part this is the first part. In the second part, we are asked to find out the distance of the approaching car at which the two headlights are seen clearly. Or in other words, the two headlights are easily resolved. They are clearly resolved. And what is the condition for the resolution of two closely lying point objects? So let me take the help of a diagram over here if this is the objective of a telescope or in other words the pupil of the human eye in this case with a diameter small d then if you are observing any two closely lying point objects which are separated by a distance x in this case two headlights act as two closely lying point objects and if the distance of the person from the jeep is indicated by the symbol capital D then as you all know the light rays from the object that is the from the two headlights reach the observers eye and an angle is formed and that angle let me denote it by the symbol theta and what should be the value of that theta for the two headlights to be just resolved for the just resolution case, the theta should be equal to the limit of resolution. Now, first of all, let me define what is limit of resolution. It is given by d theta is equal to 1.22 lambda divided by d, which is the diameter. And from figure, you can clearly write the angle subtended at the observer's eye is given by the ratio of x to d. That is x divided by d gives you theta. For just resolution, for just resolution, see when you consider the case of just resolution, that gives you the maximum distance possible between the person and the jeep in such a way that the two objects are just resolved. For the just resolved case, your theta should be equal to d theta. So, I'll make use of those two symbols, those two expressions, x divided by d is equal to 1.22 lambda divided by d. From this, we can calculate what is that maximum distance of the car from the person. So, we'll have to find out the value of capital D here. Yeah, this is given by the expression d is equal to x into d divided by 1.22 lambda. Let us substitute the known values. X is the separation between the two objects here. Two headlights are separated by a distance 1.1 into D is the diameter of the pupil which is already given in the previous section of the problem to be 2 millimeter 2 into 10 power minus 3 divided by 1.22 into wavelength is given to be 5.5 into 10 power minus 7 which simplification after comes out to be around 0 0.2. 327 into 10 power 4 meter otherwise you can express it in kilometer so the maximum distance from the person to the jeep is given by 3.27 kilometer or into 10 power 3 meter